right, hey, welcome to this little uh, quick little video here. What I'm going to show you is how to beat the crud out of your shared pool library cache and what the result can be. So to monitor this, I'm going to look at VMstat, and I'm also going to look at another script. So VMstat, I'm looking down the far left at the CPU run queue. Now I have a six core box, so if this... If the run queue gets around six, we're going to start having a shortage of CPU. You can see over here, see the 100? That means we are 100% idle right now. Okay, so we have basically, we, we do have no load on the system right now. From an Oracle perspective, I'm going to use one of my tools called the Real Time Session Sampler that is included in my OS and toolkit that you can download for free off my website. Now it's going to sample all the Oracle sessions once every quarter of a second so we get a pretty good idea about what's going on. So I'm going to run that and it's going to place the output of that into this text file. Okay, so I'm going to start the sampling and I'm going to do tail-f on that file and there's really nothing going on in the system now, right? So it's just, it's not a big deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this angry script. Okay, and what this angry script is actually going to do, it's going to create a bunch of unique SQL statements. Okay, so I'm going to just run one of these. I'm putting it in the background. Okay, by the way, what you're seeing here, that's not me doing anything. That's just kind of Oracle behavior. So I'm going to start the angry script and let's take a look what it's doing. It's already, oh, I should have flushed a shared pool. So I got to do this for my previous run. Okay, alter system flush shared pool. That's left over from uh, when I was messing with this before. Okay, all right. So we still got the angry, angry script going now. And let's see, there's already 376 unique SQL statements. And this is what they all look like. Okay, and this is coming from that angry script. So you can see here, right, we have about another 400. We're up to almost 1,000. Now we're 1,100, 1,200, 1,300. 1400, probably at about 1500 right now. So you can see there's just a bunch of these unique SQL statements that are actually being created right now. Okay, and we can watch this. I can get a count of this by uh, just, I'm gonna, instead of listing them all, I'm just going to do a count of these SQL statements. So we have about 2300 now, and you can see that continues to increase. Okay, now though, let's take a look. So you can see this is just normal Oracle behavior. This is background process stuff. It's not a big deal. If we look at the OS, the run queue is zero to what, two max. And we have still, we have like 93% idle, which means the CPU utilization is on average around 7%. So that's not a big deal. So let's actually make this a little more difficult. We want Oracle to have to deal with a lot of unique SQL statements that are similar but unique SQL statements. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this angry script 10 more times, right? That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now let's look at the OS now. Okay, there's, I have a higher run queue. I'm not at 100% CPU utilization now. I have around 65, 70% maybe a utilization. There is more activity. You can see the, these are the SQL statements that I'm actually running. These are these uh, SQL statements I'm generating. And I'm up to about 1,800, 1,900 right now. Okay? But still, Oracle is actually handling this. Okay? There's still plenty of CPU power. And you can see there's not a bunch of library cache or shared pool weight events. When the SQL statements are running, they're based, they are just consuming CPU. There's essentially no wait time. So this is a good scenario at this point. And in other words, the, my, the, the combination of the workload and the operating system power is enough to process these SQL statements, okay? Even though I'm up to 28,000 unique SQL statements right now, okay? I noticed it just dropped. Okay, Oracle said, hey man, I'm starting to use up all my share pool memory. I got to deallocate some of these SQL statements. So things are looking pretty good right now. Oracle's actually handling this fine. But let's say the problem continues, and let's say we get more angry. So we're going to do 10 more. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Got a bunch of these. Okay, here we go. Latch, shared pool. We should start seeing some library cache stuff. Library cache. It has to do with serialization control. Does my SQL statement exist? 
I need to modify the cursor because it's being executed. Things like that. The shared pool latch means, hey, I need to, I need to do some memory management within the, the library cache. Like I need to create some new cursors and chow cursors and, and things like that. Let's look at the operating system right now. My run queue is well over six here, which means I got some problems. My CPU utilization is essentially 100%. So Oracle is really, really struggling right now, keeping up with the work. In fact, it doesn't have enough CPU power based on, on the workload that I'm giving it to handle this. And these users are not going to be happy. They would have a noticeable decrease in their performance. Okay, got just crazy stuff going on here. So let's do what, what any respectable DBA would do, right? Let's flush a shared pool. So we're going to do alter system flush shared pool and we should notice things kind of mellow out down here okay okay when a flush is shared pool okay we should see some uh, we, it, it should just calm down for a little bit okay we still have a bunch of sessions running right now okay but Oracle is able to handle the workload in fact what I should have done here before is we're up to 13,000 okay now it's starting to come back right if you've ever done this in a production system, you flush a shared pool, things are okay for a little while, right? But because we haven't changed the underlying workload, the angry workload still exists, we're going to eventually we're going to get right back into the same situation that we had before. Share pool latch issues, memory uh, serialization issues, our library cache issues right here. So what do we do? Well, we do the same thing again, right? We flush a shared pool, see what happens. Boom. Okay, and things should mellow out again. Let's see how many SQL statements we have. We got 4,000, okay? Things should mellow out here. Yeah, yeah, but they're gonna come back, okay? We're at 10,000 statements. We're at 12, about 15,000 unique SQL statements. Here we go, we're getting close, right? Seems we get around this 20. I wonder if we're gonna get some bad stuff happening here. 22, 24, 2,500, here we go. We, we're probably going to start getting in here pretty darn quick. We do have some library cache. It's not crazy bad right now. We're still completely out of CPU. Uh, there's some library cache. Oracle is still managing to handle the workload right now. Okay, now it's started to deallocate some of these uh, of the cursors. Notice the count dropped, and now we start having some memory uh, memory issues. I'll say memory management issues, and that's what the shared pool latching is all about. We should start seeing some, some uh, mutex library cache issues as well, I would think, to handle all the serialization control. We got one right there. I'm, I'm expecting to see a bunch of those, though. Wow, look at the count. We're, the count's going back up here. Okay. All right. So that's, well, it's... It, it's it's kind of handling that. We would not be happy with that in a production system. But let's say the workload goes even crazier. All right. Oh, uh, that was just mean, right? You got that end of the year, the end of the fiscal period load. You're running reports while you got a bunch of online activities. Well, ooh, horrible stuff happening right here. Okay. Sure, we could flush a shared pool, but you know we're going to get the bad stuff happening all again. I mean, just like it did before. And the operating system is just screaming for help. Give me some more CPU power to deal with this crazy, angry workload. Anyway, so what you can see is that we caused shared pool latching issues and mutex serialization issues by increasing the workload. And this work workload very specifically deals with unique SQL statements that causes Oracle to, to do a lot of shared pool and library cache management. In fact, so much... We can't just handle the workload by burning CPU. We have to wait. And of course, we're out of CPU as well. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Bye.